Today is the first step toward officially welcome transportation network entities in Miami-Dade County. Two examples of these companies are Uber and Lyft, as you know. But today, I'm here to talk about transportation network entities in general. I have sponsored a piece of legislation to legalize companies that do transportation network. Companies like Uber and Lyft. Under our current code, these four higher transportation <coughs> network entities are operating illegally. And it is deeply troubling that thousands of drivers working for these companies are currently subject to significant fines. Many have their vehicles impounded. Why? Because our current code does not allow for these services. And these individuals are being fined for simply trying to make a little extra money for their families. That needs to change, and the process begins today. We need to change our code to make these businesses legal in our community. On Wednesday, January the 20th, there is help on the way. Vice Chair Bovo and I have both points with legislation to make these operations legal. The legislative process takes some time, but on Wednesday, we start the process by voting on the first reading of this legislation. The reason why I'm here today is to clear up some misunderstanding as well. I've heard from many people, mostly Uber drivers, they have expressed concern that this legislation is opposed to the industry. That is simply wrong. That is simply not true. If you read my legislation, you will find that my only intention is to make these businesses legal. The reason why we want to make them legal is because the public like these ride-sharing services. We want these companies to become legal transportation network entities so that the public can be assured that they are safe to do business with. Vice Chair Bobo and I have sp sponsored similar legislation but with different provisions. These differences will be ironed out in the process, and Vice Chair Bovo and I have a common goal of legalizing these operations, and we believe that we will find an understanding and a consensus will emerge. Uh, good morning, my name is Marcos Diaz. I am an Uber driver since last year, as I just mentioned to Mr. Chairman Monesty. I'm really concerned because uh, I have three kids who I support. Uh, since I started driving with Uber, my life has changed dramatically. I even went to Miami Day College because this company allows me to work every time I want, whenever I want, at night, in the morning. And that's something that I don't think many jobs outside there have. That's an advantage that I'm trying to save thousands of drivers that have families as I am right now. Okay. Okay. So please, Mr. Chairman, I beg you to consider if I lose my job, what's going to happen to me right now? To be fair and balanced, I want the, I want the public to understand what's going on. I, I sympathize with the drivers. I think, I think it's unfortunate that, that they feel that it's unfair, that they have to follow the same regulations. But I, I challenge the 10 or 15,000 uh, drivers that Uber and Lyft both that they have, I challenge one of those 10 or 15 to tell me or to tell the public that they have disclosed to their insurance companies that they're driving for Uber or Lyft. I think that's called deception or fraud. 